Now, if you've been watching for a while, you know Yogi Sil. But Yogi Sil is also somebody who has 17 years experience in banking. And so I keep hearing how distressed everyone is about the economy, and I started talking to Sil about it. And I thought that you should hear the things that she has to say, because great, great things. Great things. So, so tell me, you know, we're, we're all so concerned and worried. Can you, know, you give us was, a little viewpoint? It was point? about three years ago that I left my career in banking. And one of the reasons I chose to do so was I felt like um, I wanted a career that was more conducive to things that made me feel better, gave me a better state of mind. And, um, you know, there was a lot going on then. The, the, one of the reasons I left was, you know, banks were really competing with other entities that were allowed to act like banks, like, you know, brokerage houses and different places in it. It created a different environment. So at that point, I decided just to go do something that I really enjoyed doing and felt a little bit more wholehearted about. And now I'm really glad I made that decision. I would not <laughs> want to be in banking right now. But, um, but, but one of the things that has really kind of come up for me is I'm still getting asked a lot of questions, you know, from my banking experience. And the main thing that keeps coming up is how do we navigate and understand these yes, difficult exactly, times, you know? Exactly. And there, there are three things that we need to know about what's going on right now. And I am not a stockbroker. I am not currently a banker. I do yoga and I just, I chill out basically. So maybe, maybe that's <laughs> so, the right viewpoint, okay. the chill out viewpoint. Chilling so out tell us what's going step on. One. Okay. First, what's happening right now, what we need to understand <clears throat> excuse me, is not even close to what happened during the time of the Great Depression. Really? We have okay. a, over a hundred years of economic experience since then, and, and believe it or not, we actually learned something from the Great Depression. So we've created a whole um, web of fail-safes to help our economy from not really crashing. Well, that's you know? good. That, that's yeah, a relief to know. a lot of know. people are, are really wound up in their fear right now. Um, we've also had 20 years of unprecedented expansion, um, financial expansion, economic yes. expansion, our livelihoods. You know, for my, uh, essentially my whole adult life has been a period of economic expansion. No other generation has been able to say that. Really? So it, the <coughs> expansion period is not usually that long then or, it, or sustained? It, it is getting longer as we apprentice ourselves to good business practices. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things that's that's happened is some of that 20 years of expansion is actually like counterfeit because we were doing it with a very high debt to income ratio. And, um, you know, this whole thing started, you can say, well, it started here, or it started there. It doesn't matter. We're in it right now. Right. And what we want to be aware of is the fact that we've done a lot of this expansion on credit. So for how many years in the past have you gone to your mailbox and ended up with six, seven, eight invitations for a credit card? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so the bad loans that were made, you know, that quote unquote started all of this, were, were not just made to people with lower incomes. It was across the board um, financial freedom that we ha hadn't ever had before because we had never had the ability to have that kind of credit available. So in other words, everybody was living beyond their means. Is that kind well, of what you're saying? to some extent, oh, yeah, yeah. Not everyone, but you not, know, a, not lot people, a lot of people. Not right. intentionally a lot of times. A lot of times you got into it and didn't realize how far you were getting into it. One thing I saw in banking over and over was someone coming in to refinance their house to pay off credit cards. And they do it two or three times. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And it was a very, it, I saw it all the time. So, um, so, so. so is there a silver lining? Is there something yeah, good about what's right. happening? Awesome. A couple, of, a couple of good things. Recession is good for the economy for three, three main reasons that I'll touch on that are just my opinion. But um, it, it weeds out unethical business practices. Ah. And so we've seen that on a very large scale. It also helps people who don't have the know-how, you know, who've had businesses that they're managing poorly have to deal with, you know, making a job change. Their business either goes under because they really need to choose to do something else that fits them better, or they need to learn to have better, better business practices, things like that. Um, it also stimulates a lot of creativity. Out of this big so-called economic crisis, which it is, yes. um, we're going to have so many new types of jobs come that are out-of-the-box jobs. We're, in, we're innately creative in the way we create wealth for ourselves. So, 
So, so it sounds to me, as I hear you say all these things, that we all have a little bit of responsibility towards, even though there were a lot of uh, unethical things yes. that were done, there's still something that we can contribute to this to, to improve. There is. The main thing is that you don't panic. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't definitely. Don't panic. That's good. <laughs> and, and to realize that our economic system is built on faith, our faith in each other and our faith in, in, in the businesses that we patronize. So um, if your income hasn't changed, you really shouldn't stop spending money. Um, if your incomes remain the same, spend money on things that give you a better state of mind, you know, like yoga. Like yoga, That's yes. my shameless plug. <laughs> but, but really, you want to you wanna really pay attention. Has my income really changed? And, and know that if you're investing in your 401k, to keep doing that is really important during this oh, time. Oh, really? Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, because, um, you know, when, when we're in an economic downturn, you're purchasing way more shares than you would normally be able to purchase. So as we go through recovery, which we will, because we've learned how to do it on credit, and it's given us a clue of what economic freedom feels like. So now we have an opportunity to learn from the recession and actually do it for real. So the next expansion, which is the natural state of an economy should be bigger and more authentic. That's, That's great. Thing. Now, um, I think, you know, I was thinking back to the summer when you taught us to just breathe mm -hmm. and how important that was when, you know, to get us balanced. And I was thinking, can you give us something that we can do personally if we start to feel frightened as we hear about the crazy economic things, things that, that are, are going, going on? on in the yeah, economy. could you give us a little? Yeah, one of the things that I love um, that I do a lot, a lot of people really don't understand it. It sounds like a spooky word, but it's Halloween, right? So can we yes, say we meditation? Can, we can do meditation, <laughs> okay. yes. All right. Well, meditation is really something you do that just puts you in a balanced state of mind. So many of us meditate when we're driving on I-15 and you zone and you're just, you're running through a relaxed thought process instead of repeating the same thoughts over and over again. Okay. So a basic meditation that you can do is to take a nice deep breath in and get closer to what you're feeling worried about. Take it in and draw yourself closer into it. And as you exhale, you exhale out compassion. And if you don't know how to feel self-compassion, you wanna just write it on a word and look at the word as you exhale. And what this does is it helps us bring us into a compassionate breath where we're just like, instead of having to hear someone else say, it's gonna be okay, because that's what we're all really <laughs> looking for. Looking when you for. turn on the news, you're, you're, you're wanting to hear, okay, it's gonna work out. And day after day, it doesn't seem to be turning around yet. And so, you know, to, to really realize that you have the resources yourself to make it through all of this and to be able to expand out further than you had ever before. And so, real quick, can you give the blog where people can go learn about the meditation? Because yes. I know you're doing a meditation that people Great. can join in yeah. on, and that's, you can, that would you be can really wonderful. You can actually go to, the, to um, a globalmeditation.blogspot.com. It it's it's a screen. mouthful, okay? okay great. And um, this is a meditation. So far, we have eight countries and 24 states that are wow. participating in this meditation. That's, ex that's so exciting. Really cool. Thank you so thank much, Sil. It's you. good to have you here and to hear some positive viewpoints. So thank you for that.